Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks have been defeated by the Montreal Canadiens 6-2 in Montreal. Here's what I liked, here's what I didn't like, and here's one other thing. This could be the shortest what I like portion of the entire season so far. I'm going to name Jake Vertanen. He actually, uh, after a couple games of being a healthy scratch, had three shots on goal, had five hits in 14 minutes of ice time. So um, he was very noticeable in the in the first two periods especially. I'll admit I didn't watch the third period. I had to get ready for a work event, but I know Jay Beagle scored in the third. But yes, I'm going to say Jake Vertanen was the one player that I did like his game. You know, obviously, uh, it's nice to see Beagle and Gaudet get on the score sheet as well. But I, I don't know if anyone could say that they had, that anyone had a, a really extraordinary game for the Vancouver Canucks. So let's go with, with Jake Vertanen. What I didn't like, well, where do I start? How about 40 shots given up? How about um, the fact that every time I looked up on my computer monitor, it seemed like the Canucks were giving up either an odd man rush or a breakaway. I didn't like the fact that uh, the lotto line looked disinterested and were not careful with the puck and the compete level wasn't there. It's, it's a shame because they had made such great strides over the past few games. I didn't like the fact that um, a lot of our defensemen were over committing or not playing their position. And I can think of at least three of the six goals were due to one of the defensemen going to the wrong side of, of the ice, overloading one side, and then leading to uh, a wide open Montreal player or at least a really good scoring chance. So uh, there's, there's a lot of tough parts of the Canucks game. Like I said, this is the first time that I haven't watched the entire game. I didn't watch the third period. It doesn't sound like I missed much. One other thing, well, I guess the, the only bright side, or maybe it's not a bright side, is we get to do this again tomorrow and the Canucks get a chance to lick their wounds and come back motivated. Uh, maybe Thatcher Demko makes a difference in net. I'm not blaming Braden Holtby at all for tonight. Um, but yes, a, a, a new day, uh, a, a chance to put this one in the rearview mirror. But yes, it's saying something Montreal it has basically picked up seven out of eight points in the four games so far. Something's got to change and hopefully it starts tomorrow. Join me for my post-game post live stream at 10 p.m. tonight. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. God bless. Go Canucks, go.